Mile, another late goal uh, tonight against Charlton Athletic at Oakwell. Um, does it sort of feel like we've lost two points, however, even, even despite scoring late on? Yeah, to be fair, it's a bit of a mix of these two feelings because obviously we played pretty well today, uh, trying to score goals, uh, being decisive, attacking, playing forwards. Uh, but we conceded this second goal at the end and uh, we didn't give up. Uh, we showed our mentality and we scored the, the goal at the last minute. So it's not a good point, but it shows the mentality of the squad and uh, we're pretty happy about it. And can you take encouragement from the performance? Because once again, much like Saturday, it, it was a you know fast attacking, aggressive in the press. Is it good that it's not just a one game thing? It's happened again, and it feels like we're starting to build a bit of consistency now. Yeah, exactly. Like during the break, uh, we talked about it. Uh, we knew that we have to do better, and we are trying to change things. Uh, the standards are clearly much better uh, without the ball and with the ball too. So, yeah, we're pretty happy about it and we need to keep doing this to get some points and great results. How important was the break, uh, you know, before the Blackpool game, during the international break, how important was it to have that time with the with the lads to sort of work on things and with the coaching staff? How important was that? It was a massive importance, to be fair, because, uh, yeah, we had a lot of games without break, uh, with the Cup and all the, all the league games. So we didn't really have time to talk about what, what happened uh, during the, the first games and uh, these two weeks uh, allowed us to to train well, uh, to work on uh, or maybe our weaknesses and to change our mentality maybe. And uh, you can see on the pitch that uh, we're feeling better, we're much more organised, uh, we know what we have to do with the ball, without the ball, so we need to keep doing this. And you've gone from one extreme to the other because you've gone from so almost two weeks without a game to then First week back, three games within a week. We've played the first two, unbeaten the first two. Do we feel now they're in a good position to get a result against Shrewsbury on Saturday, which will be, I'm sure, another tough game? Yeah, it's going to be a tough, ga tough game away against Shrewsbury, but obviously we have to win this game uh, to make seven points at the end of the week. Uh, like you said, it's pretty intense. Three games in a row in uh, seven days, but that's what it is. And we have to focus on Shrewsbury now and work to, to win this game. The gaffer has obviously spoke about how nice it is to have players coming back from injury, you know, having Humphreys and Keeler Dunn sort of fully settled now, sort of Max come off the bench and, and score. Uh, Vimal get his first start in, in the league in his career. How nice is it to see players sort of coming back and, and showing their best? Yeah, obviously it's going to help us. Uh, if everybody is fit uh, and at 100%, it's so much better because it's help us to like to push uh, everybody to be better uh, on the pitch because you have to fight to be on the starting eleven and yeah it's really good and even the players who are coming on like Max today who scored I'm really happy for him he deserved it uh, he was injured but he, he worked hard to come back and I'm happy for him and 50th league start for Barnsley this evening um, how you know how would you assess your time here so far uh, you know your development uh, and as a person you know off the pitch you have, you've had to adapt to move to a new country how do you feel it's, it's gone so far yeah I'm feeling settled now <laughs> everything's good I'm really happy to, to do my 50s today and I hope there are going to be a lot of more because I'm really happy here uh, everybody's really nice with me and I'm feeling good I'm feeling like at home now good stuff Mark well, well done tonight and uh, best of luck for Saturday thank you thank you